NMC choose Hong Kong as a regional office or headquarters for two main reasons. One is the financial leverage because of the lower uh, tax purpose and the strong IP protection and the ease of relating to the complex Chinese market. I think this is two, they are two uh, major reasons for the MMC. And the necessary of the overseas market expansion, particularly to the main in China, is the major concern by this uh, IT service companies. And Hong Kong's IT service, especially the software company, have to continue its accu uh, accumulated competitive advantage as a business intermediary. Uh, for example, focus on reinforcing the promising industry uh, in finance, trading, and logistics. I think this is, um, as the professor Xi and Chen has been suggested, that you have to build Hong Kong's competitive advantage on strength, uh, strength on strength. This is the, uh, based on the resource-based view and the evolutionary view that you have to really take advantage of your uh, original accumulated capability for the past 30 years. But however, the shortage of the IT related manpower and lack of the long-term public funding that we have been discussed a lot in the morning and this afternoon has become major weaknesses in developing Hong Kong's IT services two major um, policy implications. One is the internal uh, opportunity, which I would like to suggest that IT service in Hong Kong can act as a key supporting sector through expanding IT service demand from uh, small, medium size enterprises, especially this is the local orient local company, local small, medium size, in terms of the limited sources in Hong Kong, especially, I mean, in most of the small economy as well in Taiwan is the same. I think we need to uh, position in a, in a niche IT service surrounding Hong Kong's core competence industry, especially on the SME in the first stage. And the second um, policy that I would like to propose is the external property uh, opportunities that are, are related to the main in China. And especially it has to go to the yeah, the man in China has to go to the overseas market. So creating an IT service industry through expanding into overseas and man in China market, if that is only within the domestic market, Hong Kong local market, that can be the industry. That is only a sector. Professor Lu is, is pushing herself to answer. She doesn't quite have the answers yet, but she's pushing in the right direction. Who will actually bring the new businesses who will need new services and maybe be the service businesses of the future? Who will bring those new businesses to Hong Kong? 